Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to be talking about what is DSP in audio? DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing. DSP in audio uh, refers to the use of digital tools and technology to process and modify or improve sound. Uh, basically, a, a DSP uh, processor uh, basically has a computer inside of it, essentially, um, that basically processes the sound to allow you to make it cleaner, clearer, adjust the tone, reduce noise, add effects, um, also route it to different locations, uh, do different types of zoning, and also communicate with it um, from your computer or sometimes from uh, remote control devices. Um, and also sometimes from apps and things like that as well. DSP is sometimes built into speakers, sometimes built into amplifiers and other uh, devices in order to optimize things. Um, but uh, many times DSP is also a standalone audio uh, hardware piece of its own. Um, as mentioned, many times DSP is used in multi-zone applications because it allows you to route different inputs to different outputs uh, very simply and to quickly change that on the fly. And as I mentioned, also many times has remote control uh, options um, from wall plates or things like that, as well as sometimes from uh, personal devices. So to kind of demonstrate um, how DSP works or what kind of the concept is behind it, I have the uh, Atlas IED Atmosphere platform here. This is the uh, Atlas IED AZM P4, which basically is a processor that also has a built-in uh, 600 watt amplifier. Can be controlled via Wi-Fi, also has network connections on the back to um, connect it to your, um, uh, your network. Uh, because as mentioned, you do have to configure the device um, from a PC or a laptop. The the Atmosphere is one of the newer uh, DSPs on the market, um, really popular because it's a little bit simpler than some of the others out there to use. Um, it has a lot of cool features that I'm going to go over here. Uh, these include a self-test system capability, tells you if you have an open speaker wire or a short or a ground. It's a built-in message player and bell scheduler, so you can use that for uh, closing time or for um, you know shift change in a warehouse, things like that, as well as message players for any um, on-site branding for your facility. Also has a learning ambient noise sensing. That means that it can actually keep the uh, volume in a particular range in your space based on how loud it is. Um, and is programmed through a web interface. Um, no proprietary software to learn or download. Uh, the web GUI is very uh, intuitive, does not, does not require a whole lot of training. Uh, and there's a number of YouTube videos out there that dive deeper into uh, how to program the device. It also gives you um, uh, a number of user-based controls. Uh, so you can control things like zones, sources, um, presets, um, as well as uh, uh, setting up um, individual um, accounts so that people can only control certain aspects of the system. Uh, and many of those things can actually be controlled from mobile devices using a QR code. There also is the Atmosphere Cloud, which allows installers to monitor um, what's going on with the device remotely. So you can check and see if there's an issue and even make changes if you need. Um, this, this device does have amplification built in, meaning it can power speakers, but there are uh, non-powered models as well as some models that have built in Dante as well, if you need Dante integration. Um, along with the, uh, the Atmosphere processor, we do have some of their additional accessories. This is the XZPS paging station, which basically connects uh, to the device and allows you to remotely page to uh, any combination of zones as needed as well as the uh, ABT Bluetooth plate. Basically with this plate, you can put this wherever you need and connect via network cable into the accessories port on this device so that ultimately you can put Bluetooth or remote audio wherever you might need it. Uh, that pairs directly to this device with that button. So um, then you also have the uh, C-ZSV. That is the zone source and volume controller. This allows you to select what uh, source you have, turn up and down its volume, also turn up and down the overall volume of the entire space. This is just basically uh, scratching the surface of what DSP can do for you from the, uh, from the atmosphere system as well as from other manufacturers as well. Uh, if you guys have uh, any other questions about DSP, feel free to drop us a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Once again, I'm Nathan, and we will see you guys next time.